Stacy with As A Tea Brews. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to share an unboxing with you from the Tea Runners. And this is a company I've never ordered from before. And honestly, I don't know that I've ever heard anything about their teas. They offer a monthly subscription box and I have not tried that. Um, but they had a giveaway on Instagram and I did not win it, <laughs> but it was for this cute little teapot and they um, had a lot of I guess success with people entering the the giveaway and so they ended up giving away four again I didn't win one of those I purchased this on my own with my own money um, at full price no discount uh, but I am very excited about it it looks so cute and I can't wait to open it and try it and share it with you so um, I actually ordered two things from them they have free shipping in the US over $29 and I think the teapot was a little bit less than that and so I ordered something, I wanted to order a tea to put it above the free shipping and to try one of their teas. So my order came in two boxes. I guess they have different shipping warehouses. The first one came a few days ago but I was waiting to open it until I got the second box. And so I will go ahead and order the first box. Actually I'll open the second one. I'll open the one, which was the reason why I ordered from this company to begin with. Okay, so it came in a cardboard box that has fragile, do not double stack on it. And this is the only thing in the box. Okay, here is this nice black box with their logo, Tea Runners. I'm not really sure what Tea Runners means. I saw briefly that, uh, I think it was a husband and wife that opened this company in, it was three or four years ago. And that's all I really know about them. So I'm not sure where they got the name of the company or anything else about it. Okay. If you, you may have remembered me mentioning that I love clear mugs because you can see the tea and I love seeing the color of the tea and the latte or the matcha. I have been looking for a clear teapot and while this isn't a regular clear teapot, I am very excited about this for a different reason because it's this like cute little glass pitcher and it has their logo on there. It says T runners uh, established 2016 and they ha have a cute little like ship on there between the T and the R and this is the kind of teapot that you can actually watch the leaves steep. And so most teapots will have a metal strainer in the middle and you can't see the tea leaves. You can see the pretty color of the tea, but you can't see the tea leaves. And so I'm very excited about this because I can watch all the tea leaves unfurl and open and then have a very nice sturdy strainer to keep them out of my, my cup of tea. <laughs> because even though you want tea leaves in your tea for a tea reading, tea leaf reading, I don't normally want the tea in my tea at all. The tea leaves in my tea at all. So I thought that the strainer in here would push down like a French press because that's what it looks like it would do, but it does not. It's attached to the top and it is just a strainer, but it looks almost identical to a French press strainer. It's got the coils on there and it's got the fine mesh, stainless steel mesh um, layer, and then it's got the bolt holding on all the different layers here. So. I don't know if you can see that. And so it fits onto the teapot and then you don't have to turn it a certain way. It's just to open all along here. Okay. And so there's this little marking here that right here it shows eight ounces. And then I did see on the website that you could fill it higher than that. They just have that eight ounce mark there for reference. And so you can fill it there or you can fill it a little higher. I bet it's probably goes up to about 12 ounces. And so I'm very, very, very excited to try this. Um, I am going to open my other box now. 
So we've got this cute little teapot. It must have been about $24. I can't remember for sure. There is no invoice in here. I'd have to go back and look at my order. Okay, so I looked through their teas and they have a lot of straight teas. But the one that caught my eye, I'm sorry if you guys hear the dogs playing and growling in the background, they are fighting over some toys right now. So I ended up ordering white peach. So here is their packaging. It's this gold bag and it's sealed with a little Ziploc at the top. Okay, I went ahead and checked back in my email and the Tea Runners Easy Brew Glass Teapot was $24.95 and the tea that I ordered, white peach tea, was a two ounce bag for $10.25. And so it's, um, it, it's very light, but there's a big, quite a big bag of it. And it says, flavored white tea, one teaspoon per eight ounces, 185 degrees, three to four minutes steep, low medium caffeine, created using premium white tea. This fruity blend has sweet notes of yellow marigold and the tang of dried peaches. White tea is known for its high antioxidant levels and also its cooling properties, which decrease body heat, making this an excellent tea to serve iced in the warm summer months. Low medium caffeine levels mean you can drink this tea all afternoon. And it was a global tea championship winner, first place for flavored white tea. The ingredients are white tea, yellow marigold petals, dried peaches, and natural flavoring. And for the origin, it says multiple origin blend. And that is all the information it gives us on here. So I am going to open this and I'm going to go wash my new teapot and put this tea in the teapot and brew it up for us. I'm so excited. Ooh, that smells really good. That smells delicious, actually. It has some giant white tea leaves in there, and you can see the marigold petals. I don't see the dried peaches yet, so I'm not sure if that's the natural flavoring they add, or if there's big pieces of it, or if it's very... Oh wait, I think maybe I see one. Oh, I'll see when I pull it out for the, the tea. But I am going to go, I already have my water heated to white tea temperature, and I'm going to go wash my pot and brew some of this up, and I'll be back. Okay, I have my teapot all washed up and ready to go. Okay, so I've measured out one heaping teaspoon, put it in my pot, and I will add some hot water up to the eight ounce line. This is 185 degree water, white tea temperature. I'm put the lid on, set a timer. I am already loving being able to see those leaves. It's just so peaceful for me to watch the leaves steeping in the hot water for some reason. Does anybody else feel like that? With most of the brewing methods, you can see the leaves within the basket, but you can actually see them steeping in the water. So I love the. Isn't that so fun to be able to see all those leaves in there and watch them kind of open up and move around? I think for sure there's probably at least 12 to 14 ounces of room in there for hot water. I just did the eight ounces. I don't want to have too much tea right now. I'm going to be cooking dinner soon. White tea is one of my favorites. And I don't have any peach teas right now, so I thought that I thought that this would be a really good one to add to my collection. I think I'm going to have to find one of my pretty tins to put it in. It smells so good. I can't wait to try it. Okay, so it's been four minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour it into my teacup. And I have my tea leaf reading cup out from earlier today. I recorded another video trying it out, reading tea leaves. 
and so I just rinsed it and I'm using it again. So here is one negative thing I'm going to say about this, this teapot. You need to have a cup that you can pour all the tea out after it's done if it's a tea that can oversteep. So if this was a tea that um, could just sit in here, if it was like a fruit infusion or an herbal, um, then I think this would be fine. But since you don't really want certain teas to steep too long, you need to make sure you pour all of the tea out so it doesn't get yucky. Hopefully I can fit this in my teacup. It is very close. I have a tiny amount that didn't quite fit in there. The rest of the tea leaves are all here. Not a single tea leaf made it into my teacup, so that is good because I don't want to drink those. My cup is so full. That is really, really a nice tea. Oh, that's delicious. It's very nice and light, but that peach is very apparent in the flavor. There's not really any bitterness. There's no weird aftertaste from artificial sweeteners. This does not need a sweetener in my opinion. It is not sweet, but the tea itself is perfect as is. I'm sure it would be delicious with honey or whatever sweetener you choose you like, but I personally would not add anything to this because I think it's delicious. Oh, that's really good. So it's a beautiful pale yellow. I'm gonna go ahead and pour in just that little last bit of tea that didn't make it into my cup before it oversteeps. So this is a delicious tea. I'm very impressed with this one. I really, when you try a new tea company, you don't know what to expect. You don't know, you, you know, I haven't heard anything about their teas. I really have no idea. But if this tea is any indication about the quality of their other teas, then I'm very excited to try other teas from their company. Maybe I'll think about their monthly subscription, but I haven't, I feel like I haven't had great success with the monthly subscriptions just because you get a variety and not necessarily teas that you know that you would drink. And so I find I have more success if I can read the ingredients, read the descriptions, and um, choose my own teas rather than just be sent random teas from a company. My dogs are going crazy right now. Okay. So I'm loving this teapot. I think this is going to be so much fun to sit and watch my leaves unfurl as the tea brews. <laughs> as the tea brews. See what I did there? I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I'll be sitting right here. She thinks I'm crazy. So I think this would be really nice with an oolong so you can see all the leaves open up. I think any tea is just fun to uh, watch steep. You can see the changes in the color of the tea and how the tea leaves themselves actually change. Um, the only thing, like I said earlier, you have to make sure that your cup that you pour it into is big enough to fit all of it. Otherwise, um, your tea could possibly get oversteep depending on what kind of tea you have. But I highly recommend this white peach. It is absolutely delicious and I am very happy with this purchase. So I will try to link to them in the description below and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.